know about you guys, but I am happy to be yes. in the house of the Lord. You should be happy. Saints, I'm going to remind you again, it's tough, but we should be happy. We should be rejoicing right now. Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. No matter what happens, we have a hope in Jesus Christ. Yes. That's the main thing. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Since I didn't get a scripture to read, I'm going to. I have it. Oh, you don't have it. Oh, please. Oh, I guess I'll have it. Wait a minute. 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 Let's say praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. We're indeed happy as Minister Shaw says tonight to be here to worship the Lord. He is our keeper, our preserver. And we are indebted to him for the benefits that we have been receiving from him. And we thank God for everything. We're going to be reading Second Chronicles chapter 25. Second Chronicles chapter 25, and we're going to read the entire chapter. Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He has sought me and he fought me with his redeeming love. Okay, 21, 25, from 1. Amaziah was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 20 and 9 years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Jehovah of Jerusalem. And did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. Now it came to pass, when the kingdom was established to him, that he slew his servants that had killed the king, his father. But he slew not their children, but did as it was written in the law of Moses, where the Lord commanded, saying, The father shall not die for the children, neither shall the children die for the fathers, but every man shall die for his own sin. Moreover, as I have gathered Judah together, and made them of captains over thousands and captains over hundreds, according to the houses of their fathers, throughout all Judah and Benjamin. And he numbered them from twenty years old and above, and found them three hundred thousand choice men, able to go forth to war, that could handle spear and sheep. He had also a hundred thousand mighty men of valor out of Israel for an hundred and twenty hands of silver. So there came a man of God to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee, for the Lord is not with Israel, to wit, with all the children of Ephraim. But if thou wilt go, do it. Be strong for the battle. God shall make thee fall before him. For God has power to help. And Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Israel? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give thee much more than this. Then Amaziah said to them, To wit, the army that was king from the whole of Ephraim, go over there. Therefore, he with kindled against Judah. And they returned home. And Amaziah strengthened himself and led forth his people and went to the valley of Salt and smote of the children of Shea Seir ten thousand. And he brought them to the top of the rock. And cast them down from the top of the rock. And they all were broken. 
the soldiers of the army which Amaziah sent back that they should not go with him to battle fell upon the cities of Judah from Samaria even unto Beth Helen and smote three thousand of them and took much spoil. Now it came to pass after that Amaziah was come from the slaughter of the Edomites that he brought the gods of the children of Seir and set them up in Israel. <laughs> Wherefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against Amaziah, and he sent unto him a prophet, which said unto him, Why hast thou sought after the gods of the people, which could not deliver their own people out of thy hand? And it came to pass as he talked of him, and the king said unto him, I don't know of the king's counsel, for there, why should I stop this thing? And the prophet swore here. And said, I know that thou hast determined to destroy me, because thou hast done this, and I have beyond my conscience. And Amaziah the king of Judah took advice and sent to Joash the son of Joash, the son of Jehu, king of Israel, saying, Come, let us see one another in the face. And Joash came up to the sent of Amaziah the king of Judah, saying, this so that was in Lebanon sent to the cedar in Lebanon, saying, Give thy daughter to the son's wife. And there passed by a wild beast was in Lebanon, and showed the money. Thou says, Lo, thou hast smitten the Edomites, and thine heart lifted up, lifted thee up to the boast. Abide now at thy house. Why shouldest thou meddle? To thine hurt, and thou shouldest that thou shouldest fall even now, and Judah with thee. Amaziah was not here. He told the God of God, and he might not be here to the enemies. For they are not the God of God. They saw after the God. So Joseph, king of Israel, went up, and they saw one another in the face, both he and Amaziah, king of Judah, at Beth Shemesh, which he belonged. Uh, to Judah. And Judah was put to the wars before Israel, and they fled every one to his tent. And Joash the king of Israel took Amaziah king of Judah, the son of Joash, the son of Joash of Beth Shemesh, and brought him to Jerusalem, and break down the road wall of Jerusalem from the gate of Ephraim, the corner gate, four hundred cubits. And he took to all the gold and silver and all the vessels that were found in the house of the God. With the law, he opened the treasures of the king's house, hostages also, and returned to Samaria. And Amaziah the king, the son of George, king of Judah, lived after the death of George, son of Jehoahaz, king of Israel, fifteen years. Now the rest of the house of Samaziah, first and last, and then, and then I'm reading the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. Now, after the time that Amaziah did turn away from following his Lord, they made a conspiracy against him in Jerusalem, and he fled to Lachish. But they sent to Lachish after him and slew him there. And together they brought him from the horses, horses and buried him with his father in the city of Judah. Praise the Lord, dear in the word of the Lord. We thank God for the reading and we give the praise for his blessings. You may be seated. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth are yours.
we definitely know that this Sunday night for us is a different Sunday night than last Sunday. But in all things, we give thanks to God. Amen. God is always in charge. No matter how human the situation seems, he is in charge. That's right. And not only that, he's always working in our behalf. Right. You know, sometimes we look at situations and we wonder, how can this possibly be? But if you know God, it is really to our benefit. Right. I mean, when you think sometimes of what might happen to individuals, could be because of certain things they've done. You know, last night we were talking and someone mentioned Joe. Look what he went through. Really bad. But guess what happens? God received the glory and his purpose was fulfilled. So we want to give God thanks for everything and we want to be praying as much as we can for our dear minister. Dixon, praise the Lord. Amen. And Amen. Um, no one can feel the way the individual feels, no matter how you think you can. And those of us who have been through situations like that know that it is so intensely personal. But God is able. Praise God. And we are always going to be praying and supporting our dear brother in this ministry and in everything. And we thank God for a dear friend of Alicia who is visiting with us tonight. Praise God. Amen, Alicia. And I'm sure we're going to ask her. She, you want her to come on and say something? You can stay there if you want. Praise God, everyone. Praise the Lord. Lord God. Um, I happen to be here. Um, this is Brother Anthony. Um, Alicia was an incredible person. Um, the first day I met her um, was at my aunt's funeral. Right. And she was talking, and I was like, wow, she's so young, but so passionate. For this yes. Person. So I went up to her and I started talking to her and we just hit it off since then. And even though she was going through so much pain, she was just so encouraging. She was just so positive and she yes. just believed in God. Like yes. regardless of what's going on around her, she just always just believed in God and just try to encourage me as much as she can despite everything that she was going through. Um, she was truly an amazing person. She had a profound impact on my life, even though we haven't been friends that long, but I felt like I knew her forever. Right. Because of her spirit, she was a genuine person. She loved God, she right. loved her family, she loved her church, and she loved um, her husband a lot. Oh, so, yeah. um, I think we all so appreciate it. And we knew that spirit here. Um, and I truly want to miss Alicia. God bless you. Praise and our condolences to you too on the loss of your other aunt. Yeah. I don't know if those of you know Evangelist Gibson from yes. Mount Olivet. Yeah. That's one of her nieces. She's Sister Henry's um, sister. Uh, that's Evangelist Gibson. Praise the Lord. We're going to receive an offering and we want to give willingly and generously to the word of the Lord. Amen. God is able to. You want to bless the offering, sir, as we come? Bless her. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We thank you for your many provisions towards us, Lord Jesus. And Father, as we come one more time to give back to you a portion of what you have given to us, we pray, Lord God, that you will bless this offering, Lord God. Bless those who have to give, Lord God. Bless those who have not to give, but that in time, Lord God, they, be, they will be provided for, that they may give to the front of their kingdom. These blessings and mercy we ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Regine.
when my burden of sin was past. Redeem when my soul turned back to God. Redeem for the price I could not pay. I owe. Hallelujah. Redeem, praise the Lord. Redeem, yeah. When my burden of sin was high. Redeem, praise the Lord. When my
So Lord, tonight, Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone here individually, Lord Jesus. Yes. Lord, you know our minds, our hearts, and Lord, prepare our hearts this moment. Prepare our mind, Lord Jesus. Yes. We know that the enemy, Lord, is like a warring lion. Cause confusion at times, Lord Jesus. But Lord, we know that peace, you bring peace, Lord Jesus. So Lord, we cry out for peace tonight. We cry out for joy and happiness, Lord Jesus, because you are God. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch our hearts tonight, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Individually, Lord Jesus. Search us, Lord Jesus. And if there is anything in us, Lord Jesus, that is not of you. We ask you to filter it this moment, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Filter it out of our life, Lord Jesus. We know that the enemy, Lord Jesus, find time, oh blessed Jesus, to come and, oh blessed Lord, cause disturbance at times, Lord Jesus, in our minds, Lord Jesus, in our spirit, Lord Jesus. Cause us to feel sick sometimes when we are healthy. Oh, blessed Jesus. Cause us to feel weak sometimes when we are strong. Hallelujah. But tonight we come against him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Tonight we tell the enemy, Lord Jesus, that is our blessed job. His assignment has been cancelled. Lord Jesus. And we call on the anointing of Jesus upon our life tonight, Lord. Wash us tonight, Lord Jesus. Cover us with your blood. Oh, blessed Lord. The blood that loses or never loses power, Lord Jesus. Cover us this moment, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray for Minister Antonio this morning, Lord Jesus, that you give him strength. Oh, blessed Jesus. When he can't find strength, Lord Jesus, he can't reserve in his life, Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed Lord, that he find strength and even reserve enough time, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you this moment, Lord Jesus, that you can be here, Lord Jesus. Oh, you have taken our loved ones, blessed Lord. You have taken his loved one, Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed Lord, but we know that, oh, Lord, you leave us. You leave a footprint here, Lord Jesus. Because Lord, oh blessed Lord, you have taken our Lord Jesus, but she have left, oh blessed Lord, she have left the minister, oh blessed Lord, that she have brought into the house, Lord Jesus, oh blessed Lord Jesus, and we give you thanks, Lord Jesus, that he will have a testimony, Lord Jesus, to testify for the word, Lord Jesus, how great you are, oh blessed Jesus, we thank you, Lord, we thank you, Lord, Lord Jesus. Is that peace now? No more pain, Lord Jesus. No more sickness, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord Jesus, tonight, Lord Jesus, that you will open our minds and our hearts to receive your word, Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed Lord. Open our ears, Lord Jesus, that we hear your word only and not the enemy, Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed Lord, give us strength, Lord, that we may not fade, oh, Lord Jesus, to every contrary wind that blow, Lord Jesus, and every heart of doctrines, Lord Jesus. But, Lord Jesus, we listen to you, your word, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you thanks. We give you praise right now. We leave all things in your hands, Lord Jesus. Oh, blessed Lord. We ask you to bless Pastor Morris this moment. Sister Morris this moment, Lord Jesus. A part of the family who have lost loved ones, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we ask you to give them the power tonight, Lord Jesus. To stand up, Lord Jesus, and rejoice. Oh, blessed Lord. The Bible says when one is gone, we must rejoice, blessed Lord. And one born, we cry. Hallelujah. So we are here to rejoice, Lord Jesus. There is no sorrow tonight, Lord Jesus, but joy. We give you thanks right now, Lord Jesus. In your holy reign, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless you may remain Lord. standing. We thank God for um, tonight. And we're here to worship, right? Amen. Amen. Are we here to worship? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship him. Worship him. Hallelujah. Amen. I know we have heavy hearts, but God is still in the blessing business. Amen. Right there in the midst of the delivering business. So we thank God for it. And we thank God for our speaker tonight. Amen. Our dear evangelist, Sonia Palmer. Let us receive her in the mighty name of Jesus. Come. Bring the word.
Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Yes. 
And sometimes our heart don't want us to do it. I would think we put it on a show because it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But let's not fool ourselves because true. we can't fool God. True word, true word. So when we are doing something for the Lord, make sure yes. it's been done from a right heart, not as an eye servant, not yes. for praise. That's right. To say yes to what I do. Amen, because amen. Because we can't do nothing mm -hmm. of ourselves. True word. Make sure we have a humble spirit. And I'm on the art. Praise the Bible said the Lord sees the crowd afar off. Right. And when we think that we are doing something, I would not read it right. It's a proud spirit, you know. That's yeah. true. So we have to just check ourselves sometimes because flesh will try to rise up in all of us. Amen. You hear me talk already, especially in years when you get a new shoes and you don't want to go back to your park, you're walking. Because you want to test out the shoes. And sometimes you sit around and it's praise time, you hide down for your shoes. <laughs> Stay focused. Yes, 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 yes. Stay focused. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so Amaziah started out well, mm -hmm. but he did not end well. In Galatians, they say, You did run well. What, what end are you? And I say, What are who? And you think when Christ comes, we can say, Is Sister Palmer didn't do this? Why I didn't make it? That works. That's no excuse. Work. It's not going to work. No, He's not man. going to accept it. No, Praise man. the Lord. Amen. And so we must be loyal. We must be genuine. We must be pure. And we must show respect to each other and to the things of God. Let's be faithful. And as I am mixed faithfulness with unfaithfulness. Yeah. And it, it tells us how he ended up. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Glory. No. Amaziah started out well, like I said. But during the course of time, he decided that he would go to repair the wall. And he left and he went and he hired men from Israel. The Lord did not tell him to hire those people, you know. But he went, I would say he bought them, he hired them and he paid them. But when he did that, the man of God came to him. Sometimes we must be saying, you know, sometimes we don't want nobody to say anything to us because we got this. That's right. And sometimes we think we reach, but when we think we reach, we don't want to start yet. That's right. So let's humble ourselves. A child can teach you something. Yeah. Don't want to think that I'm in the world so long as so I know a child can teach you something. So we must have that humble spirit to receive correction. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he went and he thought that this was right. The man of God came to him. I'm looking over at verse 6. He said he hired also 100,000 mighty men of, out of Israel. And he tell you for how much. But there came a man of God saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee. In the side, we're going to choose now to go. God didn't tell him that you know. Say some God, we're going to move out to do God business. Make sure we pray. Uh -huh. Make sure the Lord say go. And if the Lord says stay, stay. Right. Because there are times. You know, mind we want to do something. I would say, God tell us to do it, but we already have it in our mind. God don't tell us to do it. Mm -hmm. Up yourself and say, and make sure you know who is telling you and it's not self. Because sometimes we listen to ourselves, as I say, and we say it's God. Yes. Don't be hasty to do anything. Make sure, and if you're not sure, go and pray again. The Lord will tell you. Amen. Right? True. I hear Amen. um sister Doreen's sister was on the Sunday school and she said she's always so careful to say, God say. God say. And in her mind, she wondered. People said God talked to them, but it's like she was wondering. Right. How come she, God don't talk to she? Yeah. True. And she said, Oh, you said I'm praying. You must know as a Christian when God is talking to you or when you're talking to yourself. Amen. And so she said, the Lord spoke to her and told her of something that was happening that she didn't know on the way in Jamaica. Mm. And when they called, it was the same thing. And then she can say, my God. Yeah. God speak to her. Praise we should have gone and got experience in our strife for that experience. Yeah. That's true, that's yes. true. And sometimes God not going to come shout out and tell you something. Right. Sometimes my tell you saw a testimony. Are just a soft whisper, but we yes. must know mm -hmm. when the Lord is talking to us. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. And so he went, the Lord didn't tell him to go get men out of Israel. But he wanted to show that, guess what? The Lord said, and he went and he got the men. But there came a man of God saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go up with thee, for the Lord is not with Israel. To wait with all, 
the Atal, the children of Ephraim. You know, the man of God said, because they didn't see a little face change or attitude. But you see, if you want to go, go. I'm just telling you that they say must go. But if you want to go, go. Mm -hmm. At the same time, he said, remember, God had called to him and to cast down. But at that time, Amaziah looked into himself, King Amaziah, and he decided that, okay, I'm not going to go. So sending back the men that he hired, they became angry because he took them from where they were to do something, and now he's telling them to go back. Mm. So they left and they weren't pleased. Just like how Amaziah, at the time when, when, when his, his parents were assassinated, he was upset, but he didn't forget it enough. And when he became king, he killed all those people mm. who killed his parents. He didn't kill their children because he was going according to the law of Moses, where he said, the parents <coughs> should be killed for the kids, neither the children be killed for the parents. So those men left, but they were not pleased. And Amaziah said to the man of God, but what shall we do? For I already paid for them to spend the money already, so all my money is going to go. Uh -huh. He started to think about that, and the, the man said, The Lord is able to give thee more sure than this. True, true. And Amaziah separated them to wait the army that was come out of Ephraim and tell them to go. And they were very angry, and they were greatly kindled against Judah. But they returned home, oh, praise God. And as I spread himself, and you know, listen to the man of God, he went and led the battle. And he did win. He smote the children of Sarite. But guess what? When he got he went here and he started to take vessels of whatever. And other ten thousands left alive, and the children of Judah carried away captive and brought them into the top of the rock and cast them down from the top. So he went the battle, he could have taken those sleeves and do what he could. No more. Wipe them out. But the Lord who allowed him to win the battle, after a while, Amaziah just get puffed up now. Mm. It's, it's kind of a Nebuchadnezzar spirit. Yeah. He's saying, Look what I do. He's saying that to himself. The Bible didn't say he said that, but I can imagine. He felt so proud and powerful. So he went. But the king now, this is Joash, the king of Israel. Yes. Two Joash, one from Judah. One from Israel. When the king told him about the tissel, he was trying to say, Amaziah, pull yourself and right. sit down. Right. He wanted to humble him. Right. So he compared him to a tissel, which is, it could be referred to as a thorn or a trash. Yeah. And just like he said, it, whatever trample, he's showing him that, guess what? You are not so high and mighty like you think. Humble yourself. Didn't take that. Because I did this. I win the war, I took the slaves and I cast them down and I do what I want to do. Say of God. Be careful how we pick up ourselves, you know. True word, true word. Be careful how we glorify ourselves and say exalt ourselves. Because say the say Bible says, He that exalted himself shall be a yes. Amen. Open yourself under the mighty hand of God. That's the word. Praise the Lord Jesus. True word. We need to just be together. I'm not to, to be humble. It's not that you are stupid. That's right. Or you are weak. But don't let them see your chest coming in before you enter the door. Glory. Look at you so big. Or when you are coming, people have to step past. Mm. No sins. We need to humble. Yes. The Lord work with the meek and the humble. That's right. He cannot work with the poor. You know everything. And if you know everything, you really don't need God. Mm. Because you see yourself bigger than God now. Mm. So let's humble ourselves. So he got puffed up and he got mighty. So he talked. <coughs> and then King Josh said to him, Let's make a deal. I'm going to give my daughter to your son to marry. So let's meet face to face. And you know what he did? He let the enemy in. Thinking about something good. Mm, my God. And just like the Lord said, He wasn't with you. He was with them when they, when, when they were seeking these people to help fight. The Lord allowed them to capture everything and take. King Amaziah back to Jerusalem. He wasn't supposed to be there. But when they come in and they seize it, they took it back. And he went back there. And the Lord would have it that he outlived the king who took it, but to his own demise. Because guess what? When he fought, he brought all the idols <coughs> to come back 
and they start to have an idol worship thing now. Mm -hmm. They forgot the true and living God. Yeah, mm -hmm. big they resort to idol worship. Yeah. And so his demise was unto death. And that is why I read Proverbs 16. Because there is a way, it seems right to us, you know. And a lot of times we don't think because we think it's the right thing to do. But is it coming from a true heart? Are we saying the Lord is saying we need never say nothing? We need to examine our stop to life on Jesus. Don't go and say, well, the Lord tell me to do this, and the Lord tell me. It seems right to you. And because it seems right, you do it. Because you think it's the right thing. But deep in your heart, you know, you never hear from God. True, eh? So be careful. Danger. When you think that it's, this is the right thing to do, make sure we know, you know. Or if you're not sure, don't say God say. Do not use the Lord's name. Okay. Say somebody, I'm encouraging myself to you. Amen. Because sometimes Amen. you want to be, like I say, a prayer. You say, well, God did say this, you know. Just like what I say, sometimes the enemy set a dish before you, you know. And guess what? Chew it over it. We eat it and we say, nice to see. Can I get some more? <laughs> the Lord never set it before you. Be careful. Humble <coughs> ourselves under the mighty hand of God. And make sure we are for it. We're going in Jesus' name and in Jesus' will. You see, I, I, I am not preaching with Sister Alicia and all but there are so many things. Sister Price, I give a testimony and say when she went to Jamaica and got saved, it was at a funeral. Right. And she said when she heard all the things about it, it was a young person too. She started to question herself and said, what will they say about me? And so far, I believe Alicia made it, made it into heaven. Amen. I have not yet heard anybody not saying something. What will they say about us when we go? Yeah. We're sure Sister Paul make it. Well, I'm not sure enough because she did this and she did that. Mm. Really? My Lord, my Lord. Is my life being a mirror to yes. those around me? Mm. Am I living according to what God said? What will they say? And you're the young lady stand and touch. So she didn't meet Alicia in a long time. Right. But there was just something different. Mm -hmm. What will they say about me? What will they say about you? Since so I'm not judging anybody, I'm just telling you, examine yourself. That's right, that's right. And stop say God say and God send me here and God do this and go do that. There is a way that seems right, right from, from man, man. But the end here of destruction, the destruction. Let's know it all. And let's not be a king Amaziah. Amaziah was the father of Uzziah. You know? See, okay, King Uzziah would talk about him, Isaiah. Right. But we have to make sure that when we move forward, we know we're hearing the voice of the Lord. Sometimes we don't hear it right away. Stay by your knee until you hear it. Read the Bible until you hear it. Don't move out of your post until you hear it. Because you may move out of your post and you end be to destruction sins. My desire is to re-examine myself and all of us need to do that to see whether we're we in the faith or we're not in the faith because we're not fooling God enough. That's right. We cannot fool God. The Lord sees our heart and sometimes we won't say something just like I said he was doing it but not with a good heart not yeah, with a perfect yeah, heart. Perfect it's heart. not genuine sins. Yes. We have to be genuine. We have to be pure. We have to be clean. We have to be holy without holiness. No man shall see the Lord. No man. No man. So let us re examine ourselves. If we think we're not there, let's go back to Calvary and find a little car in your house. You know, to tell people, tell Jesus. Right. Because he already knows. That's right. That's right. Just one ask him to cleanse me. Forgive me. Wash me with your Lord Jesus. It's me. My all of me and clean search. When the police stop you before, sometimes in Jamaica, Clean search. And sometimes they knock them to move them foot. <laughs> Clean search. So ask the Lord to search me, O oh God. Yeah, no Try me, O oh Savior. See if there be any and wicked way in me. me. Cleanse me from it and make me whole. Yes. Just let's go back to Calvary sins. But I cannot and should not be business as usual. We're getting a little slumbery. You understand? We can't do rocky rocky. Let's stand firm. Because we're standing on the sure foundation. Right. And the Bible said, no other foundation can any man leave. Right. 
Unless that's on Christ Jesus. And if we're standing on the solid foundation with Jesus Christ, saints of God, we're going to be fair tossed to and fro. Yeah. We must know where we're going and know where we're going. And when we say we want to make heaven our own, it's a prepared place for a prepared people. Amen. And it's a prepared place you know, because you sing, if you don't sing, you can't go there enough. Right. So which one you do? You can't have one foot over here, one foot over here. Remember what I did it like this one. You must know, I know where I'm going. Yes. When we sing it now, we must sing it with a new meaning. Right. Yes. So let's examine ourselves. Don't be like King Amaziah. These are my few words in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Every king must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Praise the Lord. Let's say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. Amen. Solid words. You know, I don't need to examine you. You don't need to examine me. You know you. I know me. Right. Yes. And God knows all of us. Yes. Amen. Amen. That king did what was right. That was a perfect heart. Perfect so you can't just do some surface stuff. Mm. Amen. It has to be genuine. He has to approve of it. Amen. So we need to make sure that we are understanding that the Lord that we serve sees all and he knows all. Amen. You can't want to paint a message like that. That is to all of us. Amen. I'm not saying you are anything, saying that you're wrong or I'm wrong. It is to us. Right. You pick what is yours, I pick what's mine. But I know it is something in there for me. Right. And I can guarantee it's something in there for you. Amen. Because you know what happened? The Lord wants to save us. He didn't invest his death, burial, and resurrection just for us to flounder around. He wants to give us quality life. Amen. And that's what all this is about. When the messages come forth, they come forth to strengthen our hearts and to build us up in the faith. And we thank God, as you mentioned earlier, Sister Alicia, she, amen, she was there. <coughs> Praise God. An example of all of us. You know, Threatening, but guess what happened? She is free from all of this. She has left us something to think about, right. something to look forward to. Amen. Amen. We praise God for all of us tonight and we give Him praise. We want you to pray for our own missionary, Tina Thomas. Amen. Please keep her in your prayers. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Our God is able. He's able. He just, this is one thing you just don't want to stop believing, no matter what you see happening. Right. Do not stop believing. God is able. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, you look, look, nothing should stop you from believing that the God we serve is able to do what he promised to do. He may not do it the way you want it. He's going to do it the best way for all of us. Right. And we thank God for that. And we thank God for all of you who <laughs> with us via FaceTime Live as our Minister Samuels is operating. And we thank God for those of you who see this on YouTube. Keep trusting the Lord. This message is for you too. And we trust that you use it as a means to be a missionary to spread the word. It's a serious time. So many people need God. So many people need God. And we thank you. So if there's anyone who desires prayer, then man, we uh, you may come up and we we'll ask the ministers to pray for you. And we have a short meeting after the service. Thanks, thanks. You may stand. I give you thanks for all.
mercy to see every day. Glory.